Two of a kind. I win, right? Hi, folks. I'm going to do the UCM cruisers tonight. I'm starting off with the heavy cruiser, the Moscow, uh, which will have uh, a lot of firepower, a lot of dice to throw out. Um, so that's what I'm going to start with. I've got everything handy and we'll see how far I come today. So I've cleaned everything up from mold lines and you'll see a picture in a moment that there's a quite a clear mold line running here. Um, I've removed it. It's also on the in I've removed it. It's also on the inside and you need to take care for the sensor uh, butts here which have them. Um, I'm trying to show you. Um, there is one and there's the other. Um, the thing uh, with joining these up, um, it's quite easy. Um, if you have any imperfections yet, you can file them off and then cover it up with uh, the top lid. There is one for a normal cruiser, and this is the heavy cruiser one, which has extra weapon positions on top. Um, you, the other thing I have in my hand um, is sensor bits. Um, let me show you. Uh, let's focus. Um, that goes into the center there. Um, it's quite hard to reach once it's constructed. So um, what I do. Um, I'll place it already in there uh, and put my finger below it and then glue it in place. Um, that's the easiest way to do it. So it's lying there flat now. I'm going to um, all glue, put glue on it and close it up. Oh, well, this is drying onto the next bit, the, the ancient compartments. Um, I'll put a photo up. You can see here are um, aircraft, um, so your launch assets for building a CL, which is another type of ship. Um, right, type of ship. Um, right, you cover it up for now uh, for the heavy cruisers and, and the standard cruisers because uh, there's a weapons hard point here uh, that takes. Uh, one of the turrets mm, so that covers your side and front arc in game mm, you could technically push uh, just um, glue this one onto the side and push fit the other bits you need to it but I do not recommend it um, because of wear and tear uh, you'll uh, damage your paint job um, and uh, you might lose uh, the top side. So while I was cleaning these um, I had an idea that I could of course uh, carefully cut into this below it because it's flat on this side um, and then cut it off gently and uh, so I'll have some aircraft uh, to put on a space station or uh, another kit bash because I'm probably covering this up anyway it's an option I'm not going to continue now because it's taking quite a bit of time and I do want to finish this so I've also placed out the top deck and you need to be careful to line up um, here at the top because there will be some extra scanner uh, spikes uh, there in between um, you can place them right away uh, to make sure um, it's a lot lined up it helps 
Uh, I haven't uh, trimmed them down yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting them there or not because it is a demo fleet. Um, so I've decided to put all the antennas on after grabbing a beer and I'm going to think about it. Um, I do want to go all out. Um, it's still wet so I can still adjust the angle a little bit. Um, also, I drill a hole for the iron pin um, for ease of painting. Unlike the Scourge one, this one isn't hollow, um, so it don't go all the way through. Um, you'll, uh, the Scourge one let you know when you were in the middle, uh, this one doesn't. Um, so this is the heavy one done. Um, as I said before, the You'll need a second screw to get the main weapons off of uh, because a single screw only has uh, one pair of the main guns. So that's either one pair of uh, heavy drill guns um, or uh, a single uh, Cobra laser. Um, so now on to the light cruisers. So all three cruisers are ready. Uh, you can quite clearly see the difference now from the top uh, to the heavy cruisers. Uh, with this cress on and the flat one for the light cruisers. Um, also uh, the elongated tail uh, isn't here uh, as also there is no uh, top mount. Uh, for an extra uh, weapons platform. Um, so that's the cruisers done. So now on to the frigates. So as with the UCM cruisers, the frigates have quite a lot of extra options compared to the scourge ones. Uh, the central holes are the same, um, but you get to pick the top sides. These are for the strike carriers, and these four are all the same, but they are for all the vessels in space um, that have an attack role or a defensive role. Uh, because unlike the Scourge, only the strike carriers from the UCM can go into the atmosphere. So I finished cleaning up. Um, as you can see, there are two different overhangings to be placed on uh, the central hull. Uh, all the weapons are the same, uh, at least uh, the turret, I mean. Um, there is one thing to note, um, the weapon systems um, sh can be put on the wrong way. Um, if you glue them on, and then you'll notice that uh, when you f uh, flip them around, they won't look uh, as nice uh, because there's an odd angle to them. There's a trick to it. Um, besides reading uh, the instructions, there's also a small indentation to match up with the hole where uh, the widget sh uh, is going to be. So you can. So you can just place it in, uh, you can look that up and then line them up properly. So it makes a full circle because now this circle isn't quite complete. Then there's one more thing um, that I need to mention. The weapons. Um, there's an order uh, in which to cut these. You should be cutting the side one first, which is very tiny. Um, and do not cut here. You need to cut there. Let me show you again. So do not start here. Start there. And from the top side down, cut it. Uh, otherwise, the, the turret, uh, the rail gun, will bend and I have had mine snap off because you put pressure here it can't move down here and it could break something to keep in mind 
I'll off it. So I finished them up. Um, the two strike carriers, the Lima and the Jakarta. Um, the trick is to uh, glue the guns in first, then slide the top bit over. Um, there are uh, two small raised areas on each side uh, of the top. Uh, the bottom goes just past that, so don't glue past that uh, because you'll uh, take a lot of glue with you. Um, so that's it. They've been drilled as well, so I can pin them up. Now let's sort them by battle group. Um, the strike carriers will be on their own. And that's because of their strategy rating to keep that lo as low as possible. Um, then comes the big boy, the, the heavy cruiser, which will be accompanied by the Lima. Um, this group uh, will benefit from going on uh, weapons free. Uh, because of the weapon lo loadout on the Moscow. Um, but because the Lima is there, it can also active scan in the same turn. Then there's a group with the two light cruisers. Um, they don't need to go weapons free. Um, they prefer to go on standard orders uh, to point their uh, lasers. And the Jakarta is there to give them some extra point defense against uh, Scourge close, a close action weapons. But it can also um, active scan. So if you give the battle group, this battle group, the order to active scan, you'll activate this one first um, and then go on standard orders uh, with the pair of light cruisers. Thank you, Michelle, for leading us through the building of the UCM ships. I actually learned something from that. I hadn't realized the thing with the frigates completing the circle. Uh, I have at least one frigate that I have built wrong. And it's now taken me, what, two and a half years to figure that out? Anyway, back onto the subject at hand. Don't forget that Michelle has challenged you to help pick his... Um, paint scheme for his dropships. So, if you've got a really evil, nasty idea that you want to sh shove to Michelle, or if you'd like to be nice and just give him a challenge, either way, get into the comments and let us know how you want him to paint those ships. And Michelle will pick the one that looks the best. Thanks, guys. This video is brought to you by Thunder Terrain in collaboration with Getting Tabled.